Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save section cuts with scenes and some tricks on how to do this successfully. The big secret here is how styles play a huge role in how section planes and section cuts appear. One of the most common problems that people have is they want to, you want to typically hide the section plane object uh, when you're saving a scene. You don't want to see this yellow outline and you don't want this kind of grayish fill over top of your model. And sometimes you save your scene with that turned off and then you go back to the scene later and it's turned on. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why that happens and how to have control over that every single time so you know what to expect when you're working in SketchUp and when you're bringing the SketchUp model into layout down the road. Okay, so first of all, let's start out with the model. So this is actually a kitchen model that I downloaded from formfonts.com. So what a section cut does is it slices through your model. So you can find the section tools in the section toolbar and you click the section tool and the you'll see a plane that kind of flips along back and forth depending on what you are hovering over. So the trick is to find a surface that is along the same plane as the section cut that you want to create. And once you find that surface, you hold down the shift key. So that will lock the plane. And then you can, um, you can go ahead and click where you want the section cut uh, section plane to exist. So in this case, I want to hide the island and just see an elevation view of this elevation. So I'm gonna place the section cut right there and you can see the results. So we don't see the island anymore because anything behind the section plane disappears, anything in front of it is visible. So there's two things you can control the visibility of. You have the section plane visibility, which you can toggle on and off and you have the actual um, you know, section cut visibility. If you want section cuts to be visible in your model or not, you can toggle this button. Now each individual section plane has uh, the property which allows you to make it an active cut or not. So you can only have one section cut active at a time. So let me grab another one and place it in here. So I'm gonna again just find a surface, hold down the shift key, and I'll create another one. So you can see whenever you insert a new section plane, it will make that the active one and then deactivate the other um, section plane that you had in that context. Now you can have more than one section plane or section cut active at the same time. They just need to be inside different groups. So there's only one active section cut at a time per group or component. Okay, so let's set up a scene for uh, one of these section planes. So I'm gonna make this the active section plane. So what you do is you just right click on it and select active cut. And then another trick is you right click on it and you can select align view and that will align it, the camera perfectly with that section plane. And then now we go up to camera and select parallel projection and that will give us the parallel line view. And then before we save the scene, we want to select a style that hides the section plane object. So this is really important. These properties up here are actually style properties. And if you've checked out my uh, video on common style misconceptions, um, you'll, you'll know how important it is to make sure that whatever style you select um, before saving a scene has the properties uh, saved the way you want them. Luckily, every style in the default styles folder has section planes hidden. So you can see if I select any of these here, you don't see that section plane object and, you, and you'll notice that this is hidden here. So if you're creating your own style, under the edit menu and in the, um, I think this is called a mo yeah, modeling settings, 
this is where you toggle whether section planes are active or not. So the key thing to remember is whenever you're saving a scene you with section cuts, you want to make sure that section planes are turned off and section cuts are turned on. And again, any of the styles in the default style folder are set up this way. So, you, so if you're using any of these, which I like the construction documentation style, it's a great style. It's perfect for bringing into layout. If you're using this style, you don't have to worry about going in and changing that manually. So, okay, so now we've, we've set our style, we've got our camera set up. Um, one last thing that you might wanna do is uh, take care of wherever your section, uh, wherever your model is cut. There are a number of different ways for you to address this. Um, in this example, it actually doesn't look too bad because it's a consistent color and there's no edges in the background that we can see. But uh, you can use a plugin like Scalp for SketchUp. Um, you can use a number of different uh, kind of techniques and I'll link to that as well in the description where you can check out those techniques. I'm gonna just leave it as is for now. And I'll go ahead and click the plus sign to add a, stop, add a scene and everything here is checked. You wanna make sure that active section planes are checked and style and fog uh, is checked because again, style has uh, a big effect on how your section planes and section cuts appear. So you wanna make sure those are saved. When in doubt, save all of them. I always, pretty much always have all of the uh, settings saved here when I save scenes. Okay, so now to save the other scene, we're gonna need to toggle the section planes back on, that way we can select this one, right click it, uh, active cut, and then we wanna go to a line view again, and we'll zoom in to you know, the camera zoom that we want, we'll activate the style that we want, so the construction documentation style. Actually in this one, so you can actually see this one looks stranger uh, just because we're seeing the back uh, edge, the back face of the cabinet behind this cabinet that was sliced. So you can see kind of the reason for wanting to do either hatching or, or a solid fill. So again, you can check out a link in the description that shows you some techniques on how to do that. And so we have everything set up. We'll go ahead and click the plus sign to add the next scene. So now we can flip back and forth between the two scenes and one trick I do whenever I'm working with scenes in a model is I'll go to window, model info, animation, and I'll make sure the scene transitions is disabled because it just makes things go a lot faster. You know, unless you're trying to create an animation and you wanna see what that looks like, I would have this disabled. Let me show you what happens if you have it checked and you're navigating in between scenes. See how long it takes to do that? And you can't even like abort, you know, if you try to orbit as you're, as it's going through the animation, it forces you back through it. So just go to window, model info, animation, and turn off the scene transitions. And that'll save you some time while you're modeling. Now, one last thing that I want you to be aware of that I just actually discovered recently. Um, a lot of times when you're working with section cuts, you tend to toggle this, these section planes on and off pretty frequently. And whenever you override a style property, you're gonna see this update symbol in the styles window. And what this is telling you is you're, you've made a change to the, the style that you've applied to the model, but we don't really care, right? This was just a temporary, uh, a temporary fix. We wanted to just turn, turn on the section plane so we could see them, so we could select them or move them or whatever. We don't really want it to save, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. But unfortunately, there's this weird um, kind of behavior in SketchUp that if you, ha if you are in a style that you have assigned to scenes and you override those settings, even though you haven't saved that style, those settings are gonna be applied to the scene. And as you can see, I'm clicking back and forth between the scenes and we can see the section planes, even though we've saved the style and that style definition doesn't have section planes active. So 
uh, just be aware of that. And all you need to do is is just uh, click a click a different style or or click the same style to just kind of revert back to the saved version of it. And uh, your your scenes will revert back to that as well. So I consider that a bug, but just be aware of that. I, I guarantee, I, I know this has happened to me where I've updated a model and I've had section planes visible and I didn't know why, but at least now you know why and you can be aware of the situation. So basically just make sure that you have, uh, you don't see that update symbol over any styles that you have saved within scenes in SketchUp. Well, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about how to create your, your scenes for layout, check out my book, SketchUp to Layout. I go into great detail on how to prepare your model specifically for layout. I talk a lot about how to prepare your section cuts, how to make them have hatches over where the, the cut occurs, um, along with a number of other techniques as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.